last I meet my mother again. Her face clotheslines me, that jolt closing my throat, so I never get to say I remember her as a dragon, whoosh of leathery wings and hot wind by my ear, a scritch of crimson claws against the tile. Or am I this beast, the way I've swallowed her whole, scraping each bit of memory from my teeth? Yes, I am this serpent, the glinting scales, the snap and flex of jaw, this worm of furnace I call tongue that wriggles free to cut her again and again, not the way St. Margaret hacked out from the devil's belly, but the way the reverend divvy up a relic, splintering bone from bone, chipping limbs into holy slivers they'll cling to when the rest of the body has gone. And this poem references or um, uses quite a bit of the story of St. Rose of Lima who um, practiced self-mortification, um, which you'll hear a lot about in the poem. <laughs> Portrait of myself at 14 as St. Rose of Lima. Girl, I understood your temptations, your coveted face rubbed down to red meat, the chili peppers scrubbing your cheeks of each suitor's caress, shedding the glimmer of your skin, your delicate hands, the ones you plunged wrist deep into lime, then shoved in gloves full of nettles. How I envied your crown of roses entwined with metal spikes, your hair-shirted world. I had to make do with the tools of my time, the steak knife I slid across my arms and ankles, anywhere their eyes touched. When the first one came for me, I crawled into the cold brick of my bed, waiting for a sign. I knew I'd been cleansed when my blood dried up, when my hair cascaded from my head in fistfuls of feathery wisps, when I could run my palms over the flat of my chest and taste your words in my spit like a bitter herb. Only pain keeps the devil at bay. 